President Joe Biden back to the You know, recently I was in Milwaukee. Milwaukee, did you hear that? <laughs> Talking to a crowd of fired up Democrats at their convention, and today I'm going to talk, tell about the stuff that I'm going to talk about today, too. If I had to sum up the last several years, it would go something like this. It's simple. Democrats are getting shit done. Yeah. Now, folks, I've been running around the vote to Joe Biden and Donald Trump, and let me tell you, the choice this, this November is absolutely clear. There's only one president who's consistently delivered for Wisconsin, and his name is Joe Biden. Yeah. Take this week, just this week as an example. On Tuesday, the Biden-Harris administration announced Wisconsin was officially selected as a U.S. regional tech hub. Huge deal, something I've worked with Senator Tammy Baldwin over the last few years with her. And, and this is a $50 million project that will position Wisconsin to be a national leader, cutting edge industries, and creates thousands of new jobs and billions, that's that billion with a B, worth of economic development in Wisconsin. That deserves a holy mackerel. <laughs> Predecessor, it's been, it's been a decade since he last won an election after all, but I bet you remember his Foxconn Foxconn. Oh, yeah. Well, first of all, I fixed it. I renegotiated a contract that saved taxpayers $2.77 billion. To the help of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, I announced Microsoft is investing a $3.3 billion investment to develop a state-of-the-art data center. And it's not only expected to bring thousands of union construction jobs by the end of this year, but it's also going to put Wisconsin on the map leading in artificial intelligence and advanced man manufacturing, and that is a major holy yeah. macro. Yeah. And Joe Biden and Kamala Harris are helping us get it. So get this, the Biden-Harris administration is helping us with the necessary investments to replace the Blotnick Bridge between Duluth and Superior. hundreds of thousands of trucks and transports, billions of dollars of goods between those two states. Let's build it! Yes, absolutely. And get this, over 410,000 households and businesses will have new or improved high-speed internet, thanks in part I directed under the Biden-Harris American Rescue Plan. And you may remember, Republican legislators took a 300-day vacation from passing bills during the pandemic and the worst economic disaster in a decade. But, but with the help of the American Rescue Plan Act, we were able to rebuild Wisconsin's economy from the ground up. We supported over 100 thousand businesses direct phase and help more than nine thousand businesses open up vacant storefronts during across all main streets of wisconsin we, we created or replaced hundreds of wells that have pfas and nitrates and other contaminants we've aided more than twenty thousand farmers and we've delivered rental assistance to over four thought for 40,000 households in the state of Wisconsin. Yeah. Uh, of course, I could go on and on. I won't do that now. 
Not everybody's heard about all these good things that have happened. But because the thing about me and Joe, we're not flashy, nor are we fancy. We're not, we're not for political drama or fanfare. We put our heads down and do the work. We always try to do the right thing. Now compare this to the other guy. There, there's so much at stake this November, and here's the truth. Donald Trump is a danger threat to our country and our democracy. He's not running to help others, he's only running to serve only himself. He's not capable of telling the truth or being honest. Liar! And he's got a radical agenda that he plans to pursue when he returns to the Oval Office. What we, all, what we all know, Donald Trump will great, gladly sign a national abortion ban. Woo! And think about this. This week, Donald Trump's hand-picked justices to the U.S. Supreme Court, the same court that stripped millions of Wisconsinites of their reproductive freedom overnight, and that includes seven women in my family, it's a decision that, as, it, as the dissenting judges put it, makes the president immune from prosecution for things like ordering naval, naval seal, Navy SEALs to assassinate a political rival or accepting a bribe in exchange for a pardon. Anyway. Folks, that happened in the United States of America this week. Also, this is serious. When you, when you go home, Google Project 2025 and tell everybody you know to do the same. According to his advisors that pr prepared that, Trump wants to fire as many as tens of thousands of civil servants and replace them with his own loyalists and supporters. <laughs> Folks, there's a reason President Biden is here in Wisconsin the day after Independence Day. Because as we reflect on the values we hold, those that we hold dear, values like upholding peaceful transfer of power, protecting the fundamental right to cast a vote, and our pursuit of freedom, justice, and equality, the choice this November has never been more clear. Folks, the future of democracy runs right through the great state of Wisconsin, and we're going to stop Donald Trump. We will vote, we will vote to protect re reproductive freedom and access to safe legal abortion. We will vote to defend LGBTQ people, people of color, seniors, and many more. We will vote to save our democracy. We will vote to make sure the guy who has more felonies than Baskin Robbins has flavors <laughs> stays the hell out of the White House. <laughs> 123 days, folks, and we're going to spend every single day for the next 123 days knocking on doors chipping in when we can and making sure all our friends, our family, and neighbors know what's at stake and do the same. Every day for the next 123 days, remember this. We owe it to those who came before us and to those who are coming after us. That's right. To never give up on this great democracy. We cannot take for granted one second that this is an important responsibility for all of us. So let's get to work, Wisconsin, and thank you so much.